Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a daily guinea pig routine for spring 2017. So the first thing I do every morning between 8am and 9am is go around to the shed and check that all the guinea pigs are okay. Once I've checked them all and that I know that they're doing okay, I'll then begin spot cleaning. I spot clean at both the girls' and boys' cage in the morning and I take out all the shavings that's been soiled with pee and I try and pick up as many poops as I can as well. And then I'll get a new layer of fresh bedding, whichever bedding I'm using at the time, and cover up the cage again. And spot cleaning this way really helps keep the cages nice and clean and I do a really big thorough clean every weekend, so once a week, but obviously spot clean twice a day, every day. And once I've finished spot cleaning, I'll then spend some time rearranging the toys, sometimes swapping the toys over for different ones or changing the location of them in the cage. Sometimes I'll change their hidey houses or put some sort of interactive toy in or I'll even put some foraging type thing in just to keep them entertained. Once I've done all of that, I can then go and empty the rubbish into the bin. And I'll then go back to the shed and start the other jobs. So I refill the guinea pigs hay racks twice a day. If necessary, I refill them more, but usually twice a day is just enough. I'll then go and rinse out and wash the guinea pigs bowls. The reason I do this is because I usually use the pellet bowls for their veggies in the morning as well. So I keep them clean by washing them up every morning. Sometimes I do use other bowls and sometimes I scatter feed veggies, but I always make sure I clean the bowls no matter what I'm doing. time for the guinea pigs morning veg. Now the routine I have is veg in the morning, pellets at night and sometimes I'll give them a little treat like a piece of pepper or something in the middle of the day. The veggie diet I have my guinea pigs on is 50% forage, 50% veggies. I like to do it this way as it's a more natural diet for them and throughout the winter they had grass every other day to ensure that it wasn't a shock to them when they had it more regularly during the summer so I try and keep a good balance of both veg and grasses, herbs and things like that and natural plants. I also do all of my measurements by hand I've always done it this way and it really works for me and I always make sure that there's a lot of nutrition, nutrition and vitamin C content in all of my veggie portions for them So here are the veggies all set out, the large bowl is for the girls, 
five gills and the small ones for the boys and then I just also put a few pieces of lettuce in for the tortoises so here are my five female guinea pigs and my two male guinea pigs Occasionally when I now leave the guinea pigs I put the radio on. I do this because it helps a lot with taming if they hear a human voice and sound in their enclosure regularly it really does help keep them tame. Then I'll close the mesh door and leave them to it to finish their veg. At around 11.30 between 11.30 and 3.30 sorry I will make sure the guinea pigs get some exercise. Sometimes I'll put them in their run, sometimes I'll get, let them out in the garden as our garden's pet proof. We can let them out but we have to watch them in case of birds. So sometimes I'll do that or sometimes I'll just let them have a run around on the patio. It just depends on the weather but I always try and make sure that they get some exercise in somewhere. On a day that I'm working, I still do this, I just do it slightly later. So it's always between 11.30 and 3.30. So in the early afternoon, at around 4pm I'll then do the little odd jobs, so like thoroughly washing the water bottles if it's that day to do it, health checks if it's that day to do it and things like that. It's something I do do regularly every day when I, just before I feed the guinea pigs in the evening is groom my long haired guinea pigs. So today I was doing that and I'll also groom the short haired ones once a week when I do the health checks. But today it was just time to groom the long haired guinea pigs. So here you can see me grooming Spike, my Peruvian. After I've done that, I'll then spot clean a little bit again if it needs to be done. Usually it does. I'll do a little spot clean anyway because it makes the thorough clean at the end of the week much easier. And then I will empty, rinse out and refill the water bottles. I have three water bottles in my two cages, so I've got two in the girls cage and one in the boys cage. And I'll then do the guinea pigs evening pellets. These are measured out and I've always measured them the same way. The girls get five scoops and the boys get two scoops so basically a scoop per guinea pig And the pellets I'm currently feeding them on are the oxbow pellets and I'm really happy with them and the guinea pigs are really enjoying them too. I'll then fill up their hay racks again. And finally I'll sweep up the shed. Every now and then I also give the guinea pigs a little treat out of the treat box. So for the video today I thought I'd go ahead and give them one. And they really really enjoy the treats as you can tell.
And then once I've made sure that everyone is okay, at around 6 p.m. I'll close up the shed. Sometimes if it's really, really warm, I will leave the mesh door open a bit later and go back and close the door after, but usually it's around 6 or 7-ish that I close the door. And then if I'm ever worried about something, I can either pop around to the shed or check them on my CCTV camera, which is actually really, really fun to do. I like looking at it every now and then just to see what they're up to because it's quite good to be nosying at what they're doing when you're not around. So that is my daily guinea pig routine for spring 2017. I hope you've enjoyed learning what I do and when I do it. Obviously it can vary slightly if I'm working that day or if I'm doing something with friends or family, then I'll obviously only do the morning part and the evening part and I'll try and get them out the next day for double the time. I do like them to go outside regularly when it's sum in summer and when it's spring because I don't want them to miss out on that nice weather and be on the grass and be in a new environment so I do like to do that as often as I can but I don't always get the chance to do it it's definitely something I try and do but can't always do but sometimes I do also get them out quite early and if there's a relative at home to watch them I'll go off and do something and the relative will keep, keep an eye on them until I'm back. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing my daily spring routine. I have done a winter routine in the past and some other daily routines a few years ago, so check those out if you're interested. Remember to check the description box for links for my social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and things like that. I also have my website, which is got has got loads of information on, so please also check that one out too. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.